1085. 19 years after William's victory at Hastings, he commissions the most ambitious census in Europe. Not to be matched in Britain for another 700 years. The census will cement Norman ownership of English land in law and allow William to tax his population as never before. Royal commissioners audit every piece of land. Every head of cattle, every household is counted. An Anglo-Saxon chronicler records the scale of the undertaking. There was no single hide, nor a yard of land, nor indeed one ox, nor one cow, nor one pig, which was there left out. Nearly every statistic recorded is in the hand of one single scribe. Two million words, nearly a thousand pages. And in Latin, a language few Saxon people understand. The conquered Anglo-Saxons name it Doomsday Book. The Book of Judgment. The Doomsday Book is an extraordinary snapshot of abundance. With 8 million acres of cultivated land, 11th century England is one of the wealthiest countries in Western Europe. 13,418 places are listed. But Birmingham, now Britain's second largest city, is a tiny hamlet with nine peasants and two ploughs. And Manchester features in Doomsday as two parish churches on unfarmed land. Great cities like Liverpool don't even exist. Doomsday reveals the exploitative structure at the heart of medieval society. Over two-thirds of the people are bonded to the land and their new Norman lords, who control almost every aspect of a peasant's life.